Hello everybody, today we're filming a video in a 2006 uh, Honda CRV, and we're gonna start off with what tools you'll need. Of course you're gonna need our GTA car kit. You're gonna need uh, a Phillips screwdriver, uh, some type of uh, panel removal tool. With this tool you're not gonna scratch the panels in your car. And some kind of a hook, and we'll show you why. So we're gonna start off by using the hook. So we're gonna put the kit in the way. So we're gonna open this pocket here. And in the back there's that panel, so we're gonna grab it with the hook and undo it. So there's two slots, so we just put the hook behind here and take it out. Once you remove it, you're gonna see that there's a Phillips uh, screw there, and we're gonna go ahead and remove it right now. So we just removed the Phillips screw that was behind that panel there and uh, uh, now the this uh, pocket is ready to come out so we're gonna gently pry on it, it's gonna come off. Uh, when you're prying it we suggest doing it from the back uh, because if you pull on this door it's gonna, you, you might break this door but because we removed this already it's a little bit easier to come, come out. So on this side there's this hazard light and it has a clip which is very hard to get to so we're gonna do this one little trick and I'll show you what I just did there because it's hard to see on camera uh, so there's this clip so if you don't remove this hazard light it's really hard to get to it so I'm also gonna use our hook so we're gonna press on it and it's gonna come off so what I did when I removed that this is a pocket a little bit here, so I just pressed the two tabs and then I pushed it out and that's how I took it out from here. And then to put it back, you're just gonna put it back and that's it. So we're gonna put it to the side. So once you remove it, you don't really have to remove it in order to get to the radio, but uh, we remove it because uh, we removed it in order, you can feed the cables to the bottom easier, to the glove box or to this pocket, so that's why we remo removed it first. So there's, uh, here there's two Phillips screws, right here, there's one here and there's one here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and remove these two Phillips screws right now. So we just removed the two Phillips screws and now this uh, panel around the radio is ready to come out. So we're gonna take our panel removal tool and work our way around and kind of push this out towards you like that and like that I'll show you where the clips are so there's the two clips here on the sides it's that's what the first two clips that you remove when you go through from the bottom and then there's uh, uh, four more on top. So when you're first removing it, we suggest going around uh, with the panel tool uh, in order to get to it. So you can disconnect this, but it's not in the way, so we can just drop this down. So now that we removed it, you're gonna see here that there's uh, four screws slash bolts. So if you by any chance strip them, you can use an 8mm socket to remove them. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these four bolts. So now that we removed the four bolts, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the radio out. So we're just gonna take it, it's gonna come out. So at the bottom here, you're gonna see, this is where our GTA car kit is gonna go. This is the external CD changer port. And uh, I'm gonna take the kit right now and plug it in. Way. So we're just gonna plug it in and I'll show you where what we plugged in. So we're gonna just rest it here for now to test and to show. So that's what we plugged in. Then you have the module in the middle and then you have two cables. So one of them is for the iPod iPhone 
and the other one is in a 3.5 millimeter jack so you can have them both connected just don't use them at the same time I also forgot to mention that uh, the kit will only work on cars that don't have the internal CD changer in this particular model, model of uh, CRV so as you can see this one doesn't have a CD changer so the kit will work with this car if you have a CD changer you're just not gonna have that port in the back so uh, that's the problem so the, the radio is on so we're gonna uh, power it on and test everything out we're gonna take our iPhone 4 it's gonna start charging and uh, we're gonna press the CD button we're gonna press it uh, first. We're gonna the first time you press it is gonna be your CD, but this car doesn't have a CD loaded in it. You're gonna press it again. It's gonna show CD3 mode. That's to listen to the auxiliary, and we're gonna press it again. We're gonna be using the CD4 mode. So right now the music is playing from our iPod, or uh, I should say iPhone. So we're gonna start from going to disc one. So we're in CD4, disc one mode, and that's our hybrid mode. And in the hybrid mode, uh, you can uh, switch the songs both from the radio. Let me show you here. As you can see, I'm switching the songs from the radio. And uh, you can also switch them from here because the iPod is unlocked. Just like that. Uh, the other mode uh, that we have is the playlist mode and for that you have to use the disc plus button and you're gonna go to uh, disc 2 track 1 so now the iPod gets locked and you can only switch the songs from the radio so disc 2 is your first playlist disc 3 is your second and so on uh, if you wanna come back to unlock the iPod and choose the playlist manually yourself you can do that you can just go back to disc 1 uh, you can choose whatever playlist you want to play and uh, and then just switch the songs from the radio uh, so that's the two modes that we have the hybrid mode and the playlist mode so once you tested everything out uh, the auxiliary is very simple you're just gonna plug it in and press play make sure it's full volume on your iPod or iPhone and uh, once you tested everything and made sure that uh, it plays through all the speakers and controls work uh, we're gonna assemble everything back uh, so you're gonna run the cables as like I said before you can run them here into this pocket because you have that opening there you can uh, kind of drill a little bit out so you have the cable coming through uh, the other option without drilling is to put the cable through to here into this pocket so we're gonna you can just squeeze it squeeze it down and then you can drop this pocket down and that way you can feed the cable through through here into here if you, if you reach with your hand you can feel that there's actually there's hollow space and you can also put it to the glove box but that's a little hard to get on this car but also through here through this corner Let me just put it here. Uh, you can feed feed the wire through and uh, have it running to your glove box that also doesn't require any drilling uh, so that's pretty much it as I said before make sure everything works properly and uh, this was a video for GTA car kits in a 2006 Honda CRV.